Tom wrote a book, and he wants you all to buy it. Uh, the name of the book is The Jin Chronicles, Volume 1, Growth. It's part one of a trilogy. It's available on Amazon. Go read it. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Big Fire Bird, uh, how you pronounce this, Bird of Dawn Kalavinka. I might not be pronouncing that right, but I'm going to go with Kalavinka from this point forward. Here is the front of the box, top of the box, bottom of the box, side of the box, side of the box, and the back of the box. This is where all the money stuff is. You get all these product shots, he does this, that, and the other, he turns into 14 million different things. Uh, he's got a mimetic mode, a mech mode, uh, magnetic, uh, mimetic, mimetic, hovercraft mode. So, yeah, I, I bought this thing, this is their VO1, I bought this thing based on the, uh, the appreciation that I had of their their Firebird, uh, what was her name? The RC they did. I really enjoyed that figure. Uh, the plastic quality, nicey. The plastic quality was good. The uh, transformation was enjoyable and relatively intuitive. So based around uh, the enjoyment I had of that figure, I bought this. So I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to pull this thing out of the packaging, and we'll go from there. Alright, so as you can see, out of the packaging we get quite a bit of stuff. We get uh, these little things right here which have some beautiful gold paint on them and a, a tampo right there. We get four of those. We get four of these little rocket things right here. Which actually aren't half bad when you look at them. Okay. Oops, my bad. We get two of these guns, which it's a single cast, no paint, but yeah, I think it looks okay. We get a, a set of hands for the figure, which gives us a general idea about how big he's going to be in robot mode. And we get this thing right here, which is really interesting. It comes in two pieces. It's got this piece of uh, board right here. Well, it's it's more like a heavy cardboard. And then you get this thing right here, which is kind of neat. It's just got a bunch of details on it. So, if y'all want to know what the details look like, they're just like that. And then they come over here like this, and they make this look right here. Kind of neat. I don't dislike it. And then we get, well, and then we get <laughs> the instruction sheets, which have wonderfully colored pictures. And we get this thing. And I'm not sure exactly what this is, uh, mostly because I don't speak Chinese, but we'll figure it out. All right, so. I will uh, take this opportunity to look at the figure a little bit better and we'll look solely at the figure next. So one of the things you're supposed to be able to do with this is you set up a uh, hmm, quit it. You set up a uh, the background this sets on this and this is actually the plastic piece right there. And it goes up, and it's supposed to give the illusion, sorry about the roller, it's the only way I can keep it up there. It's supposed to give the illusion that you're looking in the hangar as it's getting ready to go. 
That's pretty neat. Uh, I wish I knew which anime this was from. That, that's that's a pretty neat little feature there. So, uh, looking at old Kalavinki, Ivinka, Kalavinka, sorry. Looking at old Kalavinka here, I've got what I think is the proper armament for him. I wasn't able to determine specifically exactly how all this stuff goes. The directions didn't really help all that much. They just kind of were suggestive. I guess it means that if you were a fan of the anime, then you'd know exactly where this stuff goes. Me, again, I'm not even sure which anime this references, so... Yeah. Uh, doing the best I can here. It's measuring in at approximately 8 inches to the tip of its very, very pointy nose. Now, since these rockets are add-on, I'm just going to go from here to here and say it's about five and a half inches approximately from wingtip to wingtip. Height-wise, with the landing gear up and the top of the uh, stabilizer here is about two inches. Let's zoom in so we can take a look at the detail on this thing because it is gorgeous. It, it's got just enough heft to it so it feels uh, appropriate. appropriate. Uh, yeah, does the cockpit open? Cockpit opens. Look at how pretty that is in there. Very tiny person sits in there. Yeah, just looking at this thing, it is, it is, it is very pretty. It is very nice. Uh, those of you who watch my channel know that I do occasionally like to do customs. I can't see anything really that I would customize on this. Um, it's just pretty. And these things just peg in right here like this. Same thing with these. It's got the larger hole right there for the larger divide. Now in the directions it shows somehow or another this pegging on like right here to one of them. But when you do that there's not enough room here for the other one. So yeah. And they're secure. They're quite secure. This thing's pretty. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. Alright, so why don't we do scale comparison and then we'll transform it into robot or gestalt mode. So I'm going to try and, tr and transform old Kalavinka, Kalavinka, Kalavinka. I'm going to try and transform old Kalavinka here, and it, it's not horribly difficult. Just remembering where everything goes kind of can be, what's the word I'm searching for? Disconcerting. It, it, it's really not difficult. It's not difficult. First thing you want to do is pull up the landing gear here. Make sure it goes in flush. Now this thing is transformed in two stages. There's the front half with the arms and the, and the upper torso and the bottom half which is the legs. So we pop this thing off and it just plugs in right here with this port 
to that peg you might be able to see right there. Set it off to the side. Now, disconnect your arms here. They just unpeg down. There are grooves right here and there are pegs right here so they just come in. Open these up. They just come around like this. Just keep pulling on this and the whole thing will move with you. Now, we come underneath here and we rotate this up. It is on a hinge so it goes all the way up like this. Turn this over so that this almost, if you can get it to rest on this uh, canopy here, that's probably for the best. Now, we can push this through like this, and here we get our first look at the head. All right, this comes all the way down so that it will set flush with this. The arms, there is a, I don't know if you all can see that or not, there is a peg hole right there, and there's a peg right here. You just bring that around, and it will peg in. This is also on a hinge, a double hinge, as you can see, so if you need to maneuver it, you can to get it into proper lineup position here. I have noticed that this one, his right shoulder, has a, a difficult time going in there. It will go, it's just not happy about it. Alright, now we need to get this red dot towards the front. So, oh, I just disconnected it. Move it all the way up to the front. This is on a double hinge. Bring this down like that. This piece here goes in. Now my arm, I don't know how well y'all can see this, my arm is not in the correct position. It needs to be rotated around, brought down on this double hinge because you want this piece, this, um, this piece right here to be open and available so you can attach one of these to it here. We'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. Rotate your arm around and if this has come loose simply reconnect it. Okay, same thing on this side. We need to get the red piece to the front. So you just move the red piece around, bring this piece out and down like so. All right, and that shoulder piece has come loose again. All right, bring this piece in, rotate so that your port is out, bend at the elbow, rotate your wrist around so that it makes anatomical sense. And that's basically the upper body. Now, for the lower body. There is a peg right there, y'all can see, that will go into this peg hole. So bring that back, bring this down. This will snap in, y'all heard that. Come under here, unfurl your legs a little bit, and they plug in two places. There's a, there's a peg hole right here that'll go in right there, and the knee here has a peg hole that pegs into that peg right underneath that gold bit. All right, now rotate these down out of the way. Pull your legs forward. Rotate your feet so that they make sense. You got big old stabilized feet. Can't argue with that. Now we pull this. Let's see, how does it go? It goes down if I remember correctly. Pull that in. So we're pulling that in, rotating this all the way down, at which point this will snap in place again because it popped out. Bring this up. Put 
this will this is supposed to snap into place and oh that's because I've got it rotated wrong my apologies folks it just comes down and down and here is this thing in robot mode now for me personally it, the directions don't really show this uh, I I, my preference is to rotate these around. It gives you a little bit more clearance on the arms. See the difference there? This is my preference. Again, the directions don't show this. So you can, you can do this however you want. But for me, I like that. I, I like that look a lot better. Okay. So, here is Kalavinka in his robot mode. Oh, excuse me. Now, this piece right here becomes a shield. It goes in right here. And you can have it pointing that way. You can have it pointed the other way. Doesn't really matter. It is what it is. So before we do anything else, let's, uh, let's do some scale comparison and measurements three and a half inches shoulder to shoulder and right about three inches from here to here height wise uh, taking into account the ears we're looking at about seven and a quarter all right uh, real quick articulation the head is on a ball joint so you get decent range of motion you'll go all the way around uh, look up look down a little bit furthermore you've got light piping well it's not really light piping it's just it, it glows it is pretty I like that I like that I like that a lot arm articulation uh, is a little limited but it, it will go all the way around if you want it to let me zoom out just a tinge here. There we go. It will go all the way around. You just got to move around it. The elbow will get you all the way. It'll give you all the range you want. You have a bicep rotation built in right there. The wrist will go all the way up, all the way down, and it'll rotate. It, it won't go in or out. There is no waist articulation on this particular feature on this one but moving it at the hips hips will go all the way forward so he can look all the way down back is going to be slightly problematic because of the nature of the way that it's built but you can move this out of the way to get that far back so you can get a decent decent walking pose out of it if you so desire all right, let's see here. They will go out, the hips will go out that far. I don't, he starts running into stuff, but you can get him to do a full split. Thigh rotation is built around this joint. You get 90 degrees bend on the elbow, on the elbow, on the knee and the feet can go forward that far they don't really go back that far because it's a stabilizing joint it's on a ball peg so you get a little bit of movement for it all right so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put all these weapons on him or as many as I can right after we do scale comparison and we'll jump right into final thoughts after that
do 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 Hey random Decepticon drone, how's it going? Do 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 Hey Tom, is that another Bayverse thing? Nope, that's just a, uh, how you pronounce his name? Kalavinki, uh, Kalavin Vin Vinka, Kalavinka. Are you sure? You can't even pronounce his name right. Rah! All right, folks, what do you say about this thing? Uh, let's just stick with the classics. Playability, materials, and cost. The playability of this thing, uh, it's kind of fiddly. It's It's got a lot of sharp points. It's not difficult to transform, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not really something that I would really want to transform on a regular basis. It's it's fine. It's nice. I like it, but I, I see it as one of those things that uh, you, you put it in one mode, you put it on a shelf, and you really don't mess with it too much. The materials, they feel fine. This thing is solidly built. It's not a chore to transform. It's just... I, I did not find it fun. Um, the cost. Oh, I, I don't. I don't think there's any die cast in it. I could be wrong. This does feel cold, and uh, this this bit right here kind of. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel cold. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's any die cast. If there is, it's probably in the landing gear. I don't know. Anyway, uh, materials, like I said, are fine. The joints are, are strong. You can get good poses out of it. It would have been nice to have had a waist swivel, but it's just not possible with the way this engineering is. I do indeed like the engineering. The cost of this. This was an $80 figure. I, I bought it from Show Z for $80. Got it today. I like it. Uh, it's got plenty of of paint, it's got plenty of uh, enjoyable. I mean, it, it looks. Th this is a conversation piece. You put this thing on your shelf, people are going to ask, "What is that?" Especially if you're a transformer collector, because it it's not a transformer, but it it could pass for a Bayverse thing. Uh, especially when you put it up next to Bumblebee, there and uh, the red car, whatever his name is, it kind of looked like a Bayverse. Decepticon, and, and it's fine. It, it's fine. Now, if this was my first Transformer, would I buy it? Honestly, that's not a fair comparison, because this thing's not a Transformer. Additionally, I have to point out, these two things right here, according to the directions, are supposed to go right here on the sides, and I can't get them on there. And it's not because I flipped these, because I tried it the other way and it didn't work either. Now, as always, there's uh, the potential for error, user error, I grant that. But the directions show that they're supposed to go there, and they just won't for me. And I didn't want to damage it. If more Transformers were built this way, with this level of engineering, and this level of sophistication, this is a sophisticated toy. Whoever designed this did a wonderful job. And I have to tell you, I bought this based on the reputation of Big Firebird. I'm going to have to look up the manga. I'm going to have to look up the anime and see what this is from. So I can I can take a look at it. If you know, leave me a comment below. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I think I'm going to order their next one. I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Are you tired all the time? Do you run out of energon for no apparent reason? Do other robots laugh at you and call you weakling? Do you feel like there should be more to life than what you are experiencing? Then you should try Vitamin John. It is the world famous Energon supplement. No steroids whatsoever. 
We all use all natural products. Steroid, I mean the vitamin John can turn losers like this one. Hey. Poof. Into magnificent specimens like these. Hey there, big boy. You want to come over and see me sometime? <laughs> so try vitamin John today. Operators are standing by.